Good morning, everybody. Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Today, I am continuing my portable Morse code paddle series. Welcome back to those of you who have been following along. And if you are new to the channel, I hope that you find these videos useful. Today, we will be reviewing the K6 ARK 3D printed paddle. Uh, before we proceed, I want to remind you to check the comments below because often there are great things left there, great comments left there that supplement the material that I pr present in my videos. Most of you know that I am friends with uh, Adam, K6ARK. He has been kind enough to send me a 3D printed paddle that he has designed. And so I've tested it in the field and now I have an opportunity to tell you about it. So let's get over to the bench and see what we have. This paddle review is a little different than those I've done in the past. This paddle is not available for purchase. Adam does not make this paddle for sale, rather he makes it available as an open source project that you can make. So if you already have access to a 3D printer, you can make this paddle yourself. And if you don't, then maybe uh, you can find a friend. So I've provided a link to the printables, the printables project in the description of this video. If you follow the link in the included description of this video, you'll find that Adam provides everything you'll need to know about how to make this uh, set of paddles. In the description, it says that uh, the parts are kept to a minimum and that the total cost per unit for a batch of 10 is less than $2 each. Set screws allow independent adjustment of the, th the throw tension for each lever and the design re relies on uh, flexing plastic hinges. He also provides the bill of materials with links, a list of required tools, the model.stl files, and assembly instructions on this website. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this real quick so you can see inside. So you'll notice inside that there is the 3D 3.5 millimeter jack and then there's a screw down in there and then there are these set screws on the outer edge and then it's connected just with a very slight narrow piece of plastic right here. So this weighs a mere 15 grams without the cable and without the leg strap, which is the identical weight of the Pico Palm. So this paddle is, is very light. Its dimensions are similar to the Pico Palm, uh, being about the same height, but it's a little shorter and a little wider at 48 by 24 by 18 millimeters. To make adjustments to this paddle spacing, you'll need an Allen wrench. I think he sent one, yeah, here it is, right here. And you turn this screw right here which is the one closest to the paddles. Tension is adjusted by turning the screw on the side closest to the 3.5 millimeter jack. So this one here. Included in the bill of materials are magnets and glue. So you can order the magnets and glue to be attached to this paddle in your preferred location. Most of you know, who follow me know that, in, uh, that I prefer to hold my paddles, so I have not attached magnets to mine. Here's a slight variation Adam printed for me of uh, this project, which does include magnets on the bottom that have been glued here. Uh, so same kind of concept inside here. Just the paddles are a little white, a little taller, I guess. But it's pretty much the same project. This, these are mounted on the bottom and they're pretty, they're pretty strong. I think the biggest surprise about these paddles is their agility. I was expecting 
an average feel because they are 3D printed. Uh, but to my surprise, they perform very well. In fact, better than many of the paddles I've reviewed in the past. You just got to make sure that when you use them and you're holding them, that you hold them along the top or the bottom ridge because if you if you touch this area right in here, it'll it'll throw it off a little. So so this is how I hold them. I just put the thumb on the top and then I put my two fingers on the ridge on the other side. And that seems to work out fine as I send. But as I said before, the agility is just uh, really, really good for what I was expecting. The design calls for a 3.5 millimeter jack, which allows you uh, to use a cable. So you'll have to purchase this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack in the bill of, a, bill of materials. The cable though is not part of the under $2 cost that uh, was quoted earlier. So it'll be extra if you, buy, if you have to buy your own cable. So as I mentioned earlier, you can't purchase this paddle in its final form. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer to, to print it, then, mount, then you might uh, consider befriending somebody who does and asking them if they will print it for you, uh, maybe offer them a little bit of money to, to print the parts for you. Adam provides a link to all the materials you'll need uh, as Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything more to use those links and Adam does get a cut of the purchases. So I encourage you to use the provided links as a way to show your appreciation to him for making this an open source project. Now let's get to the grades. As always, I emphasize that these are my thoughts and others may have different opinions. You know, when it comes to paddles, everybody has kind of different opinions and different preferences. So this is my thought about all the different grades that I have been giving in the past and how it compares to other paddles. And, and so uh, I guess uh, it's, it's my opinion and, and uh, so I guess take that into consideration. So as far as cost goes, I'm gonna give this paddle an A. And some viewers have left comments on my channel in the past about the high cost of some of the paddles I've reviewed. They believe that we in, the amateur, in amateur radio should be resourceful and make our own paddles. So and while I believe not all, that to be true, not all of us uh, you know, feel as strongly that we should be making our own paddles, but, but I guess this is, uh, this is for you guys who, who strongly endorse the idea of, of uh, being resourceful and making your own paddles. Uh, at $2 a paddle, if you do a batch of 10, uh, and with a little ingenuity and application of some of your skills, this project is spot on for this group of viewers who, who feel like we should uh, be making our own. So uh, here's to you. And also, just note again, it's very inexpensive, and so that is why we get a cost of an A. As far as durability goes, I think I'll give this paddle a B. It's, it's good quality um, uh, PETG printed material, uh, but it isn't it's made of some sort of an alloy, so it, it won't hold up as long probably as, as, a, as a metal of some sort. Uh, because of that, it drops a letter grade in, in durability to a B. As far as weight goes, I'm going to give it an A. It's, it's, it's very, very light, uh, as light as a pico palm, so you can't go wrong with that, and still it maintains high quality. As far as the size goes, this paddle is very small, and easily it uh, would be an A for size. It's, it's easy to work with, even though it's a small size. I think Adam did a fantastic job of designing this paddle with such small dimensions, and uh, it, it just works great. I, I, I think it, it's, it's small enough to to make everybody happy, but yet it's not uh, 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 hard to hold on to this and, and work with this paddle. As far as agility goes, I'm going to give it a B. Now the paddle is smooth and it can easily run at 25 words per minute without error. It's actually a little better than some of the other paddles I've reviewed in the past and given a, a, a B grade, but it still falls a little short of that A range quality. Um, it, it's, there, it makes a little bit of a clicking sound. Uh, but that doesn't really shouldn't shouldn't discourage you because, like I said, I was able to send uh, uh, above 25 words a minute without any problems. It didn't it didn't miss a beat. As far as customer service goes, this is going to be an interesting one because, in reality, you're not buying a product from anybody. But I, after giving some thought to this, I'm going to give the customer service grade a C. So my thought is that Adam is a very busy person, and that's why he. Uh, amazes me that he is still able to take time out of his busy schedule to help people even though this is a quote on your own project. Most any other maker project you endeavor to, to build would be 100% on you with, with very little 
uh, help. I encourage you to join the 3D printing channel on the Soda North American Slack group if you need direction. Adam and others frequently uh, join that chat and answer questions and can assist. And, and I'll leave a information on how to join the, the 3D printing channel on the North American uh, Soda Slack page down below. When it comes to an enclosure, I'm going to say pass. As you saw, I lifted up this top part here. And the paddle is, is enclosed and protected from the elements. And so obviously it would receive the passing grade. As far as mounting goes, this paddle has a magnet mounting option. Uh, I showed you that earlier. Uh, it doesn't any different than many of the others. I'm going to say mounting is a B. And the option that, that Adam has uh, made available for you with the, uh, the magnets is good. But in addition to that, Adam has uh, made available plans for a leg strap base plate that goes along with this paddle. So if you, um, find, if you find that you want to use that, uh, you can go ahead and find those plans just by following the same link that I've provided below. As far as beauty goes, I'm going to give it an A. I had to give this in a little thought, but uh, you know, this paddle is beautifully designed by Adam. I, I'm really impressed. I contemplated giving it a grade of a B for beauty because of the PETG material, but then I thought against it for two reasons. The first reason is that this paddle, uh, were it made of an alloy material, it would earn an A grade. I mean, just, just, just because of how it looks. And so because of that, I, I felt like I wouldn't to hold the PETG material against uh, the design. Now, the second thing is that because it's made of PETG material, you can choose any color scheme you want and uh, kind of make it however you want or, or even alter it if you want. And so because of these two reasons, I'm bringing the grade up to an A for me. That's, that's my opinion. So that wraps up my thoughts on this key. Let's go ahead and get it plugged into the radio and give it a test run. Okay, I'm actually going to use the CW hotline again for this. So let me get that plugged in and ready. I appreciate you all joining me for another portable Morse code paddle feature. Don't forget that this is a series, and so I'll be following up in a few weeks with another paddle that I've been using in the field. So thank you for joining the channel and for your comments and for all your support, and I hope you come back. 73 everybody.